Of these machines, there's only three in Australia, and it's one of only two that are actually operational. There'll be a lot of people after me that'll make it work, but I guess being involved in the start-up of it, it's always something you can always remember. Behind me here is the RM900, which is a, the ballast cleaning machine, which is at the heart of the operations. Essentially the machine removes the, the ballast from underneath the track and it goes through a series of sifters and conveyors to remove the contaminants and the small rock from the ballast. And good ballast will be returned in behind the cutting chain and the spoil is uh, taken away and discarded. The RM900 itself is just under 100 metres long. We'll have 12 MFS wagons which will be attached to the machine. It'll be around about 400 metres. In the past, if you wanted to renew the ballast, you had to take the track completely out. And that's okay if you're going to renew the whole track, but if it's just the ballast that's the problem, having to take the track out and then put it back and run the ballast, that's what this machine will save. It'll go through and can renew ballast for practically anywhere on the network, and we don't have to actually touch the track. As part of getting the machine ready, we have to get it commissioned and that entails the manufacturer come over here and we do certain tests on it and make sure everything is, is working properly and it's capable or able to do what the specs say it will do. So Horizon's involvement so far is the working with Rio to commission the undercutter and work towards a plan of being fully executionable to make it an operational machine in the near future. Ryzen, we've been ballast undercutting for over 20 years in the central or Queensland area. It's a very specialised machine and requires some very specialised operators and maintainers. Working with Rio Tinto is going very well. We're working very closely together to start developing all plans. Both parties are aligned in the direction we are moving and it's going very well. The artwork that's been supplied to us for the machine is really well done. I think it's important that we have that connection with the Indigenous people of the Pilbara. I do really like what Rio Tinto have done with the artwork throughout this machine and once we do become fully operational and travelling through the Pilbara, it will be a great sight to see. When you add to it all the Aboriginal art that we have on it, yeah, I think it's pretty classical. She's a beautiful thing and I think she's the queen of the rail network in the Pilbara.